the next video in today's video i will show you how to uh, load a 3d model from your uh, from your project and as well as uh, animation part of it now i have already done a video uh, on this previously but uh, one thing which i noticed that there was a lot of boilerplate and unnecessary code uh, like i was following the documentation uh, so it wasn't really unnecessary but i think i have uh, like on further uh, refining and i have followed other tutorials as well uh, we don't really require all just all that stuff uh, so yeah let's have a look at it now uh, firstly i will show you guys the output so this is the output so here you can see i'm not sure how clear it is because of the again video recording thing but uh, here you can see that uh, i'm able to uh, display this gltf model uh, for android uh, now if i want to update the animation i can do that as well so suppose the animation index is one so currently this fox has three animations so how to check it so what you can do is uh, uh, you can open a website called gltf viewer just search on it uh, search on uh, google and you can just drag and drop your uh, gltf binary model over here another thing is before that make sure you uh, download the gltf binary and not just uh, gltf uh, because uh, if you see the normal gltf there are multiple files again there are like online resources which help you to convert uh, like normal gltf format to gltf binary and if you want to download this model you can just visit this chronos group gltf sample models 2.0 uh, and just download any gltf uh, uh, binary model and now i have downloaded the fox model and here if you see inside the animation tab here you can see there are three types of animation otherwise if you are getting it from a uh, 3d designer he might tell you that and if i change it then he is able to walk and he is able to run it as well so in android like the animation starts from zero so if you see over here now i have changed the animation as one i will make it as two which is run and if i try to run the app again uh, you should be able to see that uh, it, it it will start running so yeah here you can see that it it has started running again i'm not sure how clear it is because again uh, like on my real device it is running at 60 fps so no issues as such but uh, yeah let's get started like like um, i have told you previously in this video we will be loading it from our project itself and i will make another video of how to load it from network uh, so what you will have to do is create a native android project and inside that first go to activity underscore main and i have just taken one surface view and it occupies the entire width and height next inside android manifest uh, no changes as such next you will have to create an assets folder and inside that you will have to draw drag and drop your glb file so here you can see i have dragged and dropped that fox.glb now there are two more files which you will have to drag and drop now what this two file does is like venetian something like crossroads or something uh, what this does is like uh, they provide a background as well as some kind of a light to your 3d model if you don't load this 3, uh, 3d model uh, and if you remove uh, sorry not 3d model these two uh, files ktx files and if you remove that subsequent code as well then uh, you might not able to see your 3d model because it would be extremely dark so you uh, you would be confused now how where from where to download these two files what you could do is you can go to the filament docs so filament uh, github uh, so it is from google this uh, repository and just go to filament docs webgl venetian crossroad underscore 2k and you can download these files so i have downloaded these two files next uh, inside build.gradle.kts so here you will have to add this filament dependencies uh, you don't require retrofit and i think we don't require this as well let me see uh, i don't think we should be getting any error as such okay i have the like this was an unused import this was an unused import as well so yeah you only require these two dependencies and uh, this dependency as well Maybe I will try to rerun re it again. So I will just make the animation index as one. Okay, and I will try to rerun re it. 
by the time it is running so what uh, so what you will have to do is you will have to write this for code first so all it does is it will initialize our filament engine i have created a variable for our surface view uh, then i have created a choreographer as well as ui helper uh, okay i think the app builds fine so yeah you can remove those yeah it it works fine next uh, like this a bit of code i have just copy pasted it from docs i still don't understand what's the purpose of this and as well as this bit of code uh, here we are initializing our surface view next here we are initializing a choreographer ui helper as well as our model viewer and i have added some touch listener to our surface view as well so you can zoom in and zoom out your uh, gltf model as well next we are calling this three methods create renderable create indirect light as well as configure viewer next we are setting again this is like boilerplate code which i have just copied from docs even i am not sure exactly what it does okay so i will just simply scroll through this like i am not going to pretend uh, to be an expert on something which i don't know so it's better to be honest about it now here we are creating that indirect light and we are we are using this to files which we had added so here make sure if you change the name to change it to whatever you have named it over here as well as over here okay next here we are reading the compressed assets uh, which are over here inside our assets folder and here we are creating our renderables so here if you see uh, we are loading our G glb model so in case you have changed uh, the model name do make sure you update it over here as well and here we just call load model glb as well as transform to unit cube and here is the actual thing so on do frame here if you see we are actually playing the animation so this bit of code actually plays the animation now suppose uh, on the fox we had three animations right but uh, suppose if you pass the index as four or five six something like that so we, i have already added a check for that if you po passed any wrong index uh, then it won't play any kind of animation and we again we will have to render this because we are updating the animation and in on resume you just have to call this on pause you will have to call this and on destroy you will have to call this so that's how simple it is like in my previous video like i was writing a lot of boilerplate code thankfully that has been removed so yeah that's it thank you for watching bye